The article I'm presenting is called Collaborative Problem Solving in Virtual Environments, Effect of Social Interaction, Social Presence, and Sociability on Critical Thinking, which is Chapter 13 of The Next Generation Distance Learning by Mahler and Hewitt. This study explores three factors that affect critical thinking in collaborative virtual environments. They are social presence, the ability of users of the virtual environment to be able to emotionally and socially communicate as real people in that environment, sociability, or how the environments might be different as social spaces that are conducive to social interaction in learning communities, and social interaction, which are mutually interdependent action between two or more e-learners in a collaborative virtual learning community. The researchers use the community of inquiry, which is a framework where students actively listen to one another and essentially help each other and themselves learn. Three key elements of learning communities that help educators build an online community of inquiry are cognitive presence, how learners are able to construct and confirm meaning through reflection and discussion in a critical community of inquiry, social presence, the ability of participants in a community of inquiry to project themselves socially and emotionally as real people through the medium, and teaching presence, the design, facilitation, and direction of cognitive and social processes for the purpose of personal, meaningful, and educationally worthwhile learning outcomes. Current communication media, such as audio conferencing and avatar-based virtual environments, makes it possible to engage in verbal communication in virtual environments and even to exchange visual cues. These technologies can decrease the dependence on written communication as text, which makes the text supplemental to spoken word and graphics online. Social interaction is vital for critical thinking in groups because it's believed to be the most natural way that people learn. Social interaction is a prerequisite for building learning communities online because through interpersonal interactions, e-learners can engage in critical discussion and social construction of knowledge. There are two dimensions of social interaction, educational and psychological or emotional. Interpersonal interactions are either task-driven or social-emotional. Both of these are required to promote caring and to develop committed group memberships in virtual learning communities. Because online environments are used primarily for task-based activities, social and off-task communications are often ignored. However, off-task communication is critical for e-learners to get to know each other, develop trust, belong to a community, and commit to social relationships in the community. Online educators often fail to build successful communities of inquiry online. Two factors that can facilitate social interactions are social presence, or the nonverbal interaction among learners that increases closeness, and social ability of virtual environments, which are characteristics that invite e-learners to engage in social interactions to create a socially conducive learning environment, essentially virtual water coolers. An experimental study was used to investigate if e-learners' perceptions of social presence, sociability, and social interaction varied across three synchronous virtual environments and if their perceptions of these three factors were associated with critical thinking in groups. The virtual environments used in the study were synchronous computer-based interfaces that allowed participants to interact with each other with varying degrees of realism through text, sound, and graphics. 30 juniors and seniors enrolled in a business class at a Midwestern urban public university were selected to participate in the simulations. They were divided into three groups of 10 in each environment. The 10 participants in each environment were further subdivided into three teams with at least three members in each virtual team. The simplicity and immediacy of text chat makes it a useful learning tool. Problems in use of this medium include managing coherent interaction with multiple threads, turn taking, and topic change. Audio conference has similar advantages and disadvantages to text chat, including familiarity with spoken discussions and realistic synchronous interaction. Use of this medium in instructional settings has raised technical issues of sound quality and reliable connection. The avatar-based environment in Second Life allows participants to assume graphical identities for synchronous interaction via text and audio, 
in addition to body environment and cues. The ramped up complexity is highly interesting but has a steeper learning curve than other environments discussed here. Each virtual team collaborated in a simulation that had participants rank the action steps in importance to team survival in a snowstorm on day one and an earthquake on day two. Participants ranked the steps individually and then collaboratively in teams using problem solving skills and interpersonal skills. This figure shows the conceptual model of relationships among user difficulty in virtual environments, social presence, sociability, social interaction, and critical thinking in groups during collaborative problem solving activity in the three types of virtual environments that were observed in the study. The results of the study indicated that perceptions of social presence and sociability in collaborative problem solving activity depended more on the user or the student who was using the virtual environment than the type of environment itself. The limitations of this study is the sample. The average age of the student was 25. The results might not be generalizable to an older group of professionals who might have more or less exposure to different virtual environments used in the study. Another possible limitation of the study is that participants were taken from a face-to-face -face class so they were already familiar with each other prior to the study. This study cautioned against the oversight of the nature of collaborative activity and the user difficulty and guides educators to use complicated online technologies wisely by focusing on factors other than the technologies itself. In doing so, this study informs online course designs that support critical thinking and teamwork in various content areas. Thanks for listening.